So inside MaxSurf Modeler, this is a model of a vessel and we've got symmetry that we can either turn on or off. And what we're going to show is uh, dynamic surface trimming. I can change the display so that you can see uh, how we're using these surfaces, this deck surface, as well as these, uh, the transom and these other surfaces across the vessel that actually trim off the hull. I'm going to turn that back off and we'll select this main deck. We'll unlock it and zoom in a little bit. And then down here, I'm going to uh, select that surface and we'll just take that deck and we'll move it down a little bit. And you see it update here. You'll also notice that the hull is uh, exposed here where it was previously trimmed off. It's very easy to uh, update that, but before I do that, let me first, uh, we'll take that deck and we'll lock it back up again. And then I can select this surface, right click, and trim that little piece back off again. And now this modification has been made. Next, what we'll do real quick is we'll unlock this bottom surface and show you an example of making a change to a NURBS model. Uh, in this case we're just going to modify the bulb and we want that bulb to protrude out a little bit more so that's all it takes to do that. I can lock the bottom back up again and lastly what we'll do is we'll take this bow thruster and we want to relocate that aft so I'm going to turn on the buttock lines and since that was defined with uh, dynamic uh, trim surfaces it's very easy to take that and we can move that bow thruster which is defined with these surfaces we can move it let's say aft three and a half feet and we'll move it down at the same time by half a foot and you see how that change was just made. Inside the modeler you can also uh, calculate hydrostatics very quickly. This is what the parametric transformation window looks like for making more sophisticated changes to the parametrics of the hull, block coefficients, other coefficients, length, beam, displacement, location of the LCB, etc. Switching over to the MaxSurf stability module, uh, first uh, you've got a lot of excellent uh, visual capabilities to view your model. And in this case, for example, I want to show the tanks of, and compartments that are in the vessel. And this is very graphical. I can interrogate the model and I know where all of these items are uh, just visually by looking at it. If I want to make a change to a tank, that's very easy to do right here, changing the, uh, the dimensions or the boundaries of the tank. And what we'll do first is we're going to uh, do a upright hydrostatics first. I turn my water plane on. And to do that, you just specify the range of drafts with an increment. So we're going to do 13 different drafts. I run the model by pushing that button there so you see the vessel moving down for each uh, draft level. So the results are very quick. These are the, uh, the tabular results of the hydrostatics. And my uh, output of graphs is shown here. These are my hydrostatic curves, my curves of form, and my Bongine curves. Next, we're going to do a large angle stability analysis. And this is a good example where utilizing the built-in criteria library saves an incredible amount of time. This is an extensive criteria library. Uh, it's international. It covers all of the major codes, IMO, ISO, etc. cetera. Uh, for this, we're just going to use a Coast Guard stability criteria. And I'm going to uh, turn on my my graph here and you'll see that while the large angle stability runs you'll see the vessel um, healing in each condition and my uh, 
writing lever curve is created very quickly along with the other curves associated with large angle stability. I can easily look at the output in this results window and if I want to put the vessel in one of these uh, conditions and view it that can easily be done and this can be useful for reports for example. Also I can look at my results of the criteria check so this is very detailed against the criteria and it tells me the required value as well as the calculated value and whether or not that item passed uh, with an indication of what the margin was. All of these results can also be spooled to a Microsoft Word document. Uh, you can also utilize a built-in template. So that's about all we have time for and we would like to close this presentation by inviting you to our website. If you would like some more information, please visit us at charlestonmarineconsulting.com. Thanks for watching.